Guys, I had a comment the other day, and someone was asking me to give some advice for the story mode. Now, I of course want to jump straight into this and give you my kind of top tips and tricks for the story mode, and kind of tell you how I attack the story mode, how I go about doing it when I'm sort of in story mode mode, which is not often because story mode does annoy me, as most of you know. So, um, what we've got to do here... Uh, what am I doing? Okay, so let's just jump straight into it. So, one of the most important things for you to know, obviously, where I am at the moment, and this is why I don't tend to do videos on story mode, but I'm doing it, obviously, because someone actually generally asked me to do some of my top tips, is that it's very RNG. And that's not a tip, but you need to know that story mode is very RNG. So, there's a lots of resetting. So, yeah, I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So if I go into my story, I should be able to actually progress a little bit further in story mode now because I've broken my battle wheel and I can, yeah, I can break my battle wheel again here like that. So let's let's do that and then just chuck everything on here that I need. There we go. And I can break it again. So I've got my um my my levels up here quite a nice amount guys which is good there we go so that's going to bring them up and help in story mode so obviously guys <laughs> number one tip is you need to have characters on a good level now that's a very useless tip but i'm starting from the beginning here so story mode is the hardest mode in this game for a reason because every time you progress you get more of everything every hour so you can see my team here and i have lots of people saying that i should be past the level i'm on i'm very over leveled for the level that I'm on in story mode, but you'll see why I get annoyed about it. So obviously guys, you need to start off with good characters, good layouts, and you need to have those team synergies. If you don't have those, you're gonna get nowhere in story mode. So if I'm gonna shout out a couple of characters that you should focus on, even if you don't plan on using them in any other mode, you need to have Melzard, you need to have Terrible Tornado, you need to have Empress Child, you need to have hellish blizzard you need to have genos and you also could do with g4 for like the later levels i think 20 20 level 24 is good for g4 and metal bats also a very good character so yes of course guys having any of these on five stars is also a good shout but that's not a logical thing for me to tell you to do because of how hard it is to get these characters so um yeah, because obviously I'm stuck a little bit with these characters, but they are on my battle wheel, so I can use them. So if I jump into this now, I'm going to show you, this is the most important tip I can possibly give you. Make sure, you go onto your friends list here, and make sure your friends list is active. So, Logan hasn't played for a while, but I know he's on a good level. So I'm going to show you what I mean by this. So make sure you, everybody in your friends list is very, very active because the best tip I can give you is just to click clearance formation and just learn how other people do the levels like don't be like oh no I don't want to look you know I'm good I don't need to look at other people's stuff it, that's not what it's about this is here for an option jump in I admit that every single story mode mission I do I'm always following magic's team or someone else's team so it is very important that we look at this and then I can see here okay how has magic completed this level so i know for a fact here he has melzard's move so he can survive twice which means i can't actually copy this team because it probably won't work because i imagine he would have melzard dying twice so if we jump into this and have a look here and get a bit of a better understanding you can watch the entire battle and get an understanding of how so he gets the free buffs on the characters at the top to start off with eyelashes dies straight away you get the follow-up from um terrible to know there Melzard dies, then you get the special move down there from uh, Supersonic, uh, Eyelash, which powers everybody up, then you're actually going to kill everybody probably, yeah, apart from um, Metal Bat and Armored Grip, is fine, and now you've got him who's going to be invincible, so he actually purposely lets Melzard die there, and this is probably... Um, going to just wait until Mel's I use a special which will kill Armored Grilla as soon as Mel's uses a special I'll shred Armored Grilla down um now you're going to see here his special's going to kill both of them yeah okay so uh, let's try that let's try that move out and see if I can duplicate this and basically get an easy win now I know this video is probably not going to be that useful for you know advanced or intermediate players but one I hope you still enjoy it, but this is more of a kind of just a basic 
tips and tricks guide. So now I'm going to copy that team. Exactly. And I know what pieces of the puzzle need to activate for me to complete this level. Now, this is what I mean by the RNG element, uh, random number generate, which is basically when you summon and stuff. It's the same concept with using um, Genos. Now, I have got Genos on Mythic. You don't really need to upgrade Genos because um, his attack buff his attack buff is just good anyway but let's take a look so now i've got this team here uh where's my eyelashes there so i've, I've got my team here now it's obviously very important to have a um good attack buff on eyelashes as well because that will in further increase the damage it increases on everybody so i didn't get the right buffs there so this is what i mean you've got to change again go change again go change again go and you've got to keep going until you get the right string of buffs on the characters now this is why i tend to not normally do videos on this but it's it's important that we get the buff at least on the top two the other one can go where it wants i'm not hugely fussed about that so um because we need to make sure that we're going to get all of the specials being used at a good time so I i'm going to take that one right we can use oh i didn't have one right. so okay let's just go again come on so this is what i mean that we, we basically hit a stage where it's just okay so i'm gonna let this one roll where it's just smashing as much as you can so take off auto now which is fine table Tornado has not died um good melzar hasn't died yet let's get his special out straight away good and now we're gonna get a follow-up so we didn't get a follow-up there which is very bad because that meant terrible tornado was not able to get her move out and do even more damage which once again is another bit of rng so as you guys can see the the only tip i can really give you in story mode is just be patient i can't tell you anything else it's very irritating, but there's not a lot more I can tell anybody to do, really, apart from wait. So now I'm going to hope that we get the follow-up, which we did. So she's going to do more damage here, which is, which is, or she will die immediately. So now I'm starting to get very annoyed. <laughs> now you know why I don't do these types of videos. Oh, I hate this game. So this is why I immediately start to hate this game. So, you, you can obviously, um, if, if I don't get it shortly, I will obviously, then it's just important to go and watch some other people's teams. But the problem is, everybody in this game uses the same combo because it's really the only way you can actually get through these dumb missions so you do end up getting a little bit stuck which is a little bit annoying because this is what you, this is what the game becomes as you can see what i'm doing right now it's not fun it really is annoying and i know a lot of people agree with me in the story mode being way too difficult and the fact that most of the characters that you can use in the story mode have to all be rng related why can you not pick who genos puts his buff on i do not know why they put that as a feature but there's lots of things which this game could basically just want to delete it when I play story mode. That's why I tend to never do story mode. Um, apart from a lot of you guys like to watch me play it because it gets me very annoyed. As I'm very annoyed now. And this is why I tend to never do these types of videos. Um, but let's just leave on auto and see where we're going to get to. Okay, she's used it hit good crits yes okay good 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 okay this is looking quite good because what's nice is that melzard hasn't actually died yet and by the time melzard uses a special it should release metal bats move and even if it doesn't um it's not yeah here we go good that took take the shield off <laughs> <laughs> yes okay so that was finally good so this does bring me to quite a good stage in um number one i got this gift back again i'm not gonna buy it but this does bring me to a very good point where you saw how painful it was for me to go through the story mode and r rinse and repeat rinse and repeat rinse and repeat and then these you can just 
Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Then these, um, what's important to do, just do that. Then skip and just trigger finger until you win. Because obviously there's no, there's no point. I did appreciate when they added the skip. Now this one, again, we are hit with Metal Bat. So we can do, okay, Magic, my main man Magic again. Um, so it's gone for the same team, but he's using Hellish blizzard and all of my characters are better than his so in theory i should be able to complete this level quite easily now he does the good old buff technique on uh, hellish blizzard and that's always quite good because it does allow her to get her special straight away so what i was also explaining was okay so i've got um all of these all of his top to five tiles that one was just one upgraded ages ago but i'm gonna wait um I've also got all of his nearly up to five stars now, which is good. So basically ready for when it gets difficult. So all of his stuff's up to five stars now. And what's also very important is that you do upgrade any of his moves that do attack bonus. So this would be a good one as well. But obviously I, the problem I have here is that that's another useless one. So when I do get another one, I will upgrade that. That one's pointless because you don't get an attack buff. And that one's also points you don't get an attack buff. So this would be a very good one to upgrade. And what I mean is that in his active skills, a total of 240% attack damage. So I need to get one of those to further increase his attack, which is going to help me on every single mode because I use him as quite a main character. So let's see what we can promote there. Just get rid of him. Lovely. Okay, so let's jump back into this mission and follow that team layout I just saw. And at least you can see this way a good layout with a hellish blizzard. So like that. So it's very important that we get the free bus and it has to be on free characters this time. Because um, if it isn't, we really do lose that big push. So, okay, let's just see what happens. I'll run with this. I'll run with this. And we'll just see where we can get to. Because I know that all of my characters are on a slightly higher level than Magic's. So I should be able to get away with it a little bit. Because she's going to attack down that row. Followed up as well. See, now if she had got the attack boost, she would have got a special up quicker. But it doesn't really matter. Great. Yeah. Oh, another story mode completed. Another story mode completed. Right, this is going well. I'm going. I'm just, just keep. I'm going to keep the video going. I normally don't do this well. So this one seems like it's going to be a little bit easier. I'm going to jump in. I'm going to look at someone else's team this time. So he is using a. But once again, his team is the same as mine. So it should not really be a a huge amount of issue to what happens here so what he's got here in his team battles so i know sorry this was initially started off as a tip video now i'm just playing through the story that there's not many tips i can give you in story mode guys just look at some of the better players teams and roll from there so what he, what he's done here um is uh i'm not going to use uncle k's one at the moment I might not need to use Uncle... Oh, no, I will use Uncle K's one. So, okay, once again, guys, this is another thing of being able to hire people's good characters. So I can I know I can use that one twice. So I can hold on to him and use him twice. So this should be a very easy win. And then I can obviously grab him again. So then like that. So now the, he's going to do his attack buff onto Terrible Tornado here. So let's see what happens. So we do need to make sure that the cows up here get the so gave it to everybody but the right character I need. So, and then this is where it's annoying when you're trying to hire a character because you have to each time. All right, let's just, let's just roll with it. Let's just, let's just see what happens. Why not? Let's just see what happens, guys. Because she's probably going to kill everyone straight away now. She's got the buff bomb. Oh. Uncle K. Someone through big time. That's beaut. Okay, that's another... Beautiful win there. Um, uh, I'd always just chuck a random character in when I'm doing these because you just mash anyway. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now we're on. Oh my goodness, we have to fight Boros. We have to fight Boros. So let's see. Okay, so he's gone for quite a different team here again, which I quite like. 
So let's um, let's do the same thing here. Um, quit out of here. And then let's go in. So I haven't, I don't think I've really ever thought of Boros on story mode yet. Uh, so this does mean that we are getting a little bit um, tasty now, guys. And he's in his, um, he's in his final form. So it is quite scary. So, oh, this, this is an oof of a team, guys. This is a big oofer, this one. So he's gone. And then I can use his one one more time. And then I'm going to hire. So basically, this allows me to skip through two main battles one uh, every week. So, um, yeah, absolute god for that. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's just roll with it. We've got the buffs on the two characters, which are good to have it on. Like that. Yeah, he's dead straight away. That's fine. We're going to get another buff there, which is great. The damage she does is absolutely insane, though. That shouldn't kill. Oh, no. All right. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there because I'm just going to end up getting annoyed if I um, uh, keep trying it now. But we've I didn't actually expect to get that far through story, so I'm certainly not complaining. Get some new stuff here. I don't think I needed that. Ooh. Beautiful, actually. That puts just a nice one onto him there. I, I will actually... That was quite nice. Um, do that onto him quickly. Great. So that was actually not wasted at all. That was quite nice. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, guys, smash that like and subscribe button. And also, guys, I want you to comment down below and let me know how far through you guys are on the story mode. Um, because this one's going, this is always quite exciting. I've got lots of exciting videos coming up soon, guys. On the wheel spin, I'm going to do on on uh, Monday, and I'm going to do the mega draw on Tuesday. I'm very excited to see if we can get some good stuff out of all these drops. But I'll see all you beautiful people in the next one. And just before I end the video, guys, I'm going to put magic and um, Uncle K onto the wall today. Magic, forgive me, is fantastic characters and then uncle k spelt correctly this time for giving me all of just for basically help me complete the missions we've got lots of entries now guys lots of entries so someone is going to win my uh, my t-shirt giveaway at the end of this month we're going to be doing the darts again and i'm very excited so mark your calendars for the first of next month guys and we will see who's going to win i will see all of you beautiful people in the next one